Hello everyone, thank you very much for watching this tutorial that I made. In this week's project, I'm going to work on this big wardrobe, which is, as you can see, in a very bad condition. And besides this, it is not real wood. You can see here, it's made of MDF boards all over. I searched everywhere to trying to find some real wood, but it's not. So I don't feel sorry at all painting this one. Um, I decided to, I cleaned it of course uh, with the warm water and um, dish uh, washing soap and then I made some small reparations on all these uh, uh, parts where it was broken, I used some uh, wood filler and uh, I made it ready to be painted. <laughs> Inside I used this, uh, it's a combination of Capri and um, napoleonic blue and uh, some primer red and i got this beautiful color i painted inside with this one i really like it so um, it's not gonna be the same color on the exterior but for the inside this is the color that i um, i wanted to to go with uh, applying two coats of paint this is coat number two um, nothing special just simple paint two coats, let it dry, and then go on. And for inside the, the wardrobe, I chose this very beautiful um, transfer, a gold foil transfer. It's uh, called uh, House of Damask and it's done by Redesign with Prima together with the furniture artist Kacha. Um, I cut uh, the designs that I wanted and now I apply them on the door. Uh, the paint has to be dry, definitely, so uh, this paint has to cure usually or at least a couple of hours. I usually let the pieces dry overnight for, before applying the, the transfers. Uh, it goes really easily, you just um, put the foil uh, on the furniture and you rub uh, uh, softly and then this design remains on the furniture. And this is uh, a smaller part of the transfer, so I just create the design that I want. It's really super, super easy to use these transfers and they are so beautiful, I really love them. You see how easy it is to apply? I check from time to time if all the gold foil transfers uh, on the surface and then I push a little bit with my fingers, make sure that there is no air bubbles underneath the, the transfer. It really looks stunning. And then with um, a, um, an abrasive sponge, usually for 40 grid, uh, I come over the entire surface and I uh, distress a little bit the transfer because this furniture has to look old and uh, used and so I don't want the gold to be really super shiny. So I cut a little bit of the shininess from using this, uh, this small trick. And then I remove the dust with a clean and dry microfiber cloth. And then with the clear wax from any Sloan Romania, I'm coming with, um, uh, with one uh, coat of uh, wax, clear wax, and this will uh, protect the paint in time and uh, will uh, let the, the, will even darken a little bit the color as you can see. I really love using uh, uh, clear wax. It takes some muscles <laughs> to apply it, but uh, it's you, you do it and then you, you know that uh, the, the paint will really be protected. So I go everywhere and uh, this uh, clear wax will also remove uh, the little um, scratches that I've done when I um, sanded the, the transfers. And then I remove the excess of the clear wax with a clean uh, microfiber cloth. And then it's time for uh, some aging. I love to use the dark wax from Ennis Lone Romania. 
usually I place this dark wax um, on the corners um, as you can see uh, inside the, all the crevices of the furniture and then I come with a larger uh, brush and I spread it um, on the surface and all the excess you will see later on I remove it the, with the same uh, clean uh, microfiber cloth. I distribute this uh, dark wax a little bit everywhere but I put more into the corners as you could see and this is removing the excess and now the surface is nice and I have the, the corners a little bit darker you see the difference waxed versus not waxed I, um, I also apply a little bit of uh, uh, gold gilding wax also on the corners I uh, spread it with my fingers, of course, <laughs> my favorite tool. I like to use this kind of um, fan-shaped uh, um, brushes when I put the gold because this way I can, I feel like I can maneuver the gold as I want. I, I feel, I feel, I feel this kind of uh, brush is best. Is the best for the gold, at least for me. <laughs> And then I come back with a little bit of uh, dark wax um, over the corners and I create um, some more shades and more shadows, not shades, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so more shadows on the corners. I like this mm, brush, it's not actually a brush, it's made out of silicone. And I like it because it's really pointy and um, I, I can go, as you can see, very deep into the crevices of the furniture. So I really love this. It's also from Redesign with Prima. You can find the, the link where you can buy all the products. You will find them in the description of the video. And for the exterior, uh, the first coat, uh, uh, I applied a little bit of um, uh, texture with some old... Um, uh, I think it's burgundy, yes, the first coat was burgundy. And over it, with the second coat, I'm coming with the primer red from Enislong Romania. And then uh, I leave the middle uh, uh, with a lighter color because uh, later on you will see I'm uh, gonna put some decoupage paper. And whenever I put decoupage paper, I always prefer to have a light color underneath the decoupage paper. It's really simple, nothing... Uh, Spectacular, just uh, blending a little bit now the margins, uh, primer red with cocoa. So the color, the light color inside is cocoa, also from Any Sloan, Romania. And I come with this small brush and I distribute better the cocoa and I mix it well and I, I create a sort of blend. I don't need to pay a lot of attention because anyway, I will cover this color with the um, uh, decoupage paper, but I like to have a smooth finish even under the, the decoupage. It, this is how it looks. This is the first coat of primer red. And now it's time for uh, some uh, more details because I found this piece was quite, uh, I don't know, didn't, didn't have too much personality, so I wanted to add some more. I have these beautiful uh, molds, also from Redesign with Prima. I made them uh, with uh, amazing casting resin. You can find them all in the links uh, that I'm gonna add in the description of this video. And I'm warming it because uh, I, I've, I made these molds uh, like a couple of days before and they become very hard and I need them to be more flexible. When I add the glue, I prefer to have them warmed and flexible, so I use the hair dryer and um, then I put glue and with a small brush I remove all the excess. I continue to use the hair dryer so that I keep the mold warm so that the glue also gets um, dries uh, faster this way. And I secure them with this um, because I want them to stay in place. And you can find here the link uh, of the live uh, that I've done together with Mara. Uh, we applied the gold and the decoupage. So if you want to see how we reached to this point, uh, go and watch the, the live. It was really fun. 
And so I continue, the next uh, day I continue applying this um, really beautiful Fleur de Lis. Uh, it's also from, the, uh, this transfer is also from the design with Prima and uh, it's made out of gold leaf. And you saw earlier uh, the small dresser that I've done uh, a while ago and because they all, all these furniture stay in the same room, in the same apartment actually, I plan to make it look uh, just the same as the small uh, dresser that uh, I showed you a little bit earlier. So I go with this Fleur de Lis uh, gold foil transfer. Uh, over the decoupage, <laughs> Luna is with me, of course. <laughs> she begs for love and for kisses from mommy. <laughs> and uh, I like to layer uh, the transfers uh, not only over the painted uh, surface but also over decoupage paper everything goes really smooth and easy and um, i like to connect the things together so uh, that's why i came up uh, with this idea to add some of the fleur de lis also on the decoupage and now this is the let's say the last um, uh, step that i'm gonna do because i want to mute down the brightness of the uh, primer red i'm gonna use this wash of cocoa uh, i put i think it's 30 percent paint and 70 percent water and i water down the paint and then you will see <laughs> i take the brush and i mix everything add some more water i want it really watery the more water I add, um, the, the, the lighter the color will be. And I just come with the brush all over the surface. I let it um, drip because I like the dripping. It will, you will see in the, in the end, this dripping will really look authentic old and will give that old world charm to the furniture. So I go over all the surface. I like to work in small sections because otherwise I risk that the paint gets um, dry and I don't want that. And then with this clean uh, natural sponge, uh, which I keep it uh, wet and clean, uh, I come and I remove uh, some, some of the paint and uh, this will really make uh, the paint look super old. And uh, I love, I love the way the furniture looks after I use a, a wash. I love using washes over the painted uh, furniture. It really gives this old, authentic old uh, look to the piece. And with uh, this uh, small tool, I come and I remove a little bit of the paint and I create some um, distressing. I scratch uh, the furniture where normally in time the paint would, uh, would get, uh, I don't know, would would uh, be destroyed, I don't know, distressed. Yeah, this is the word, the distressed. So I come all over the corners, uh, near the hinges, everywhere where I think that uh, time would create this kind of uh, distressing. I clean the, uh, this uh, sponge, I clean it uh, from time to time and I remove the paint because otherwise I'm just gonna move the paint from one place to another. And I do the same all, also over the decoupage paper. The decoupage paper is not in danger because uh, it has already, it's been sealed already. I uh, applied the glue also over the decoupage, so it is really sealed and uh, it won't uh, create any problems. I continue to use the, this small tool to create some scratches where normally in time, as I said, uh, furniture would get um, damaged. This is the next day, uh, I let the paint dry overnight and then I came um, with clear wax to protect all the piece and now it's time for the dark wax. I'm coming uh, and creating these shadows uh, where normally when the light hits the surface creates these kind of shadows. 
I use uh, a mix of uh, brushes. Uh, I like to use this kind of a big brush to remove the excess and to have this small brush to go into all the crevices of the furniture. As you can see, I come and I remove with the big brush all the extra that I don't want. And then with this um, tool, I cannot call it a brush, <laughs> I call it a tool, a uh, silicone uh, tool uh, from the design with Prima, I'm coming and I create this kind of dripping of these shadows. Don't ask me why I do this, but I find it really nice and I like using it. You see how all the dripping of the paint of the wash is, uh, it, it's super nice. I really love this look on the, on the furniture. I think it's my favorite way of doing the furniture. And I create them, I don't have a way to create them, I just go with my imagination and I make them. And then also I do the same around uh, these beautiful molds. I, I apply over the gold leaf and uh, I come a little bit around it. I really create shadows. I never take too much um, brown wax because I find it quite difficult to remove. I prefer to come with small quantity and to load my brush more often. I cover a little bit of the gold and I take away a little bit of this uh, shiny shininess <laughs> uh, because normally old furniture would not have such a bright gold so I like to put some dark wax uh, brown wax uh, over it and this way it will really look old and worn and uh, I think it connects to the whole piece with the same tool, I created this dripping, which I love. I love so much this. This step is my favorite. So playing with the dark waxes, with the gold waxes, this is definitely my favorite part of redoing a furniture and painting a furniture. I love also painting it, but I think this part is by far my favorite and i spread it also with the, my finger i find i find uh, that uh, when i do this um, it goes better into the surface and it stays there somehow i let you now enjoy the the process i think i'm talking too much <laughs> And now on speed forward, I'm repeating the process also over the decoupage paper. I do the same and I create these shadows on the corners, near the corners. And guess who is with me? Guess, guess who is with me? <laughs> of course, Luna. <laughs> she won't let Vali film me. She wants all the attention to her, all of it. And from me, a kiss. <laughs> and uh, with this big clean brush I remove all the excess everywhere where I don't want the dark wax I come and I remove it with this uh, brush using clear wax and that's it I think it's really balanced and I love it. And after that, the last step is the gold gilding wax. I go with Eternal from uh, Redesign with Prima. It's by far my favorite gold gilding wax. And I come all over the surface where normally the sun, when the sun hits the surface, it leaves this kind of, let's say, light shimmery. So I go on the higher points of the furniture with the gold and a little bit on the legs. 
I go with mix of brown and gold and brown and gold. So I never add only gold. I also come with brown and I mix them. And look who I have here. <laughs> it's Luna who won't let Vali and Vali, my father-in-law and my husband, they, they, she won't let them uh, film me. She wants all the attention. <laughs> she's such a cute, she's such a cute. It's so lovely to work with her. <laughs> And now let's get back to work. We still have a little bit of work to do here. But overall, I think I love this dresser. I really love how it looks, this wardrobe, sorry, not dresser. And now we continue. Hopefully Luna lets us work. She won't, but we still try. <laughs> Speed forward with the gold. I go also on the hinges and everywhere on the higher points of the furniture. You see all those dripping on the doors? Oh, I love it, I love it. And then I come over the dark wax and I apply a little bit of uh, gilding wax for some more shimmery. And then I go also down on the drips that I created with the dark wax. Anyway, I let you enjoy watching this because uh, for me at least, I love watching uh, such uh, techniques. I, uh, I think it's really nice to, to see how uh, it starts to look um, I don't know, really old and uh, yet uh, really beautiful, old and beautiful. So I let you enjoy the process. All the high points of the furniture, I go with the the shimmery of the gilding wax on the corners on the hinges and everywhere else where I feel that I want a little bit of shimmery and gold And it's ready. If you liked this video, if you like this furniture, let me know, drop a comment, uh, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, just do it. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's so important for me. And until next time, take care and have beautiful sunny days. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Have a beautiful, beautiful week. Bye.